Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube and I'm your host Mohammad Adam with another screencast. Now, a couple of days ago I did a poll on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, Twitter, uh, asking that what kind of screencast do you want to see? And I think the options were iOS development, uh, of course SpriteKit, uh, Android development, ASP.NET, um, AngularJS and all that. So a lot of people emailed me, a lot of people voted on SpriteKit, so I will be starting on SpriteKit framework uh, to, you know, to develop games. So what exactly, before I go into that, I also want to share a little bit of news that, uh, I don't know if you have read my blog at azamsharp.com. I am in the process of making a small documentary about uh, a travel documentary, which I always wanted to make, uh, make for a very long time. So I'm making that uh, documentary it will be available in a couple of months and it will be on YouTube so stay tuned for that also okay so sprite kit what exactly is sprite kit so sprite kit was introduced in iOS 7 and it is the Apple's framework for developing games so it's very if you have worked with Cocos 2D framework it is extremely similar to the Cocos 2D framework okay uh, so let's get started sprite kit uh, we are going to just so if you uh, if you go to the previous screen, this is just a new project, and you can see that there's a Sprite Kit framework uh, project template over here. So I'm just going to select that, and you can say Learning Sprite Kit or whatever. That's the name of your project, and then create it in wherever location that you want to create. Now, right off the top of the bat, uh, if you just run it, you will see that the, the main framework provides you with like a hello world message it also provides you with how to change the color of the background it's kind of like a bluish color and when you click you can see that it displays uh, when you touch the screen basically you can see that it displays or it injects uh, a plane a sprite an image and it's like rotating so it it gives you kind of like this uh, thing so that you you can understand that okay you got the sprite kit framework working correctly okay but we don't need all of that right so we're going to remove this my scene class and we are going to develop our own stuff so what exactly is seen uh in all these things okay and we're going i'll show i'll talk about it once i actually add it so let's go ahead and say new group and just to give a little bit of organize uh, just creating a scenes group and see and controllers and we're going to put this view controller inside this all right this is just for organization purposes if you're making the game now let's add a scene new uh, we're going to say objective c blah 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 uh, we're going to say game scene now what exactly are scenes so scene is something that you display on the screen okay so a scene represents one particular aspect of the game at one particular time so it can be a game scene where you actually play the game it can be a home scene or a menu screen where you select like start a new game view the high scores contact the developer blah 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 you, there can be a game over scene where they, all it does it's kind of like displays your high score uh, there can be a high score scene which can display a game center link and then you can display all this other stuff so a scene is just like movie scenes it can be a romantic scene it can be an action scene it can be a scene on a train station it can be a scene uh, as at a bus stop or an airport or any kind of scene in a room or hospital so that these each of these scenes can be uh, same concept applies over here uh, that uh, each scene can represent different things okay so let's go ahead over and add this game scene which of course represent the game and you can see that it inherits from the SK scene class which is sprite kit scene uh, let's go ahead and implement the constructor which is init with size and we are going to say call the base constructor in it with size and then return self okay that's all we are going to do right now now if you go over here let's go ahead and import this uh, what is it game scene and
and instead of my scene since we deleted that we have game scene okay rest of the code stays the same now for our game we are going to be using in the landscape environment okay so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go over here instead of portrait i'm just going to say landscape left and landscape right save and run and here we go we have our landscape orientation okay cool the scene kind of looks boring so we are going to add a a background to the scene now i've already downloaded some backgrounds uh i guess this one and delete this guy which is spaceship i don't really like the spaceship so i'm just going to delete that and i'm going to get my own spaceship now people in the, in the last tutorials people did ask me that hey where are you getting all these graphics and all that um, so you can go to this website open game art and you can download the stuff but of course read read the if they have some sort of agreement a licensing thing to so read about it also always credit see attribution instruction so that's what i'm talking about so if you use these graphics always uh, mention that the the blog of a person who actually created these graphics it's a lot of work so you know they will get recognized for their work all right so we have added our background a background it's weird should be displayed over here Let's see if it's okay so it's not able to find that that's kind of sad all right let me let me get the background from somewhere hold on for two seconds all right uh, all right background I can find the background where I can not find here we go that should be it hopefully let's see so there we go the beautiful background uh, I don't have the sprite for let's see I don't know which ship I was using so I'm just gonna get like random this guy all right and here's our spaceship pretty cool right let's go ahead and clean it so that it removes the previous spaceship there we go all right here we go so we need to add this background okay um, so let's go ahead and create a method self and then setup just to set up our initial stuff that we are doing and in this case we can click create another method setup background keeping things organized setup background and a background will be a sprite okay so we're gonna say background equal to SK sprite node and with image we will use the background that we have which is background 4 and we are going to say self add background so sprite in this case is anything that you see moving on the screen anything that you can interact with a collision a bullet a spaceship a car uh, even the clouds can be part of the sprites so in this case we are just taking uh, use of the sprite to create our background because background will display as an entity we can move the background also we're not going to do that but we can we can do that if you want to so let's go ahead and run it All right, that's kind of weird. Kind of facing some weird issue there. So here we go. So, but the background, you see, it, first of all, it looks kind of weird because it's very large background, okay, and uh, it's not really sized correctly. So let's go ahead and make sure that you size up things correctly. So I'm just going to go over here and quickly size it, okay. Uh, which is I think 568 and 320 or something right so I'm just gonna size it correctly there we go save it and 
run it again. But still, that's kind of weird. Go ahead and clean it up. Um, go ahead and set the anchor point. So anchor point is basically the the, uh, the bottom left part, which uh, represents from where the the whole sprite is being drawn. Okay, so we have set up the anchor point, and you can see that this is still not really coming correctly. Now the reason for this is that even though this is in landscape mode, as you can see, the coordinates that are set in the view controller it doesn't really know about the landscape mode because it depends on the view and view did load is fired uh, way before the orientation actually took place. You know what I'm saying? So at this point if you see the coordinates in view did load of the view controller, if you see the coordinates it will be 320 by 568 instead of the landscape which is 568 by 320. So in order to do that all we need to do is to fire the, the event in the next event that will be fired, which is view layout subviews. So if we do that, it will be guaranteed that it will note the coordinates. And here we go. You can see that our you know background is now over there and it looks very nice, right? Let's go ahead and add uh, the sprite. So we can say over here self setup user or setup uh, user sprite or whatever. Setup spaceship. That's much better. And we are going to say what? Set up spaceship sprite node spaceship sk sprite node and I think our it's called spaceship and we can put it anywhere we want. You can use the position uh, to put it cg point make and we can say size dot width divide by two so it'd be kind of like putting it in the center uh, size dot height divided by two and finally add the spaceship to the scene let's go ahead and run it and you'll see a switch is kind of large, but it, it's on the screen now. If I touch the screen, it doesn't really do anything. But you can see the power of SpriteKit that with simple few lines of code, you can have the background set up. It looks very nice. You can have the spaceship set up on the screen. Okay. And all that is left to do is to move the spaceship, ha add some particle system, add some bullet, add some enemies. Actually, a lot of things to do, right? But this is a good start with uh, like under 10 minutes you can set all of these things up and uh, you're good to go for the next tutorial. Thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for more.